Hello students, this video, in this video, we'll discuss about the domicile status of an individual. And this video is relevant for the advanced taxation examination of ACCA. So first of all, uh, you should know that uh, uh, the domicile status is based on uh, the domicile of origin. The first one is domicile of origin. The domicile of origin is automatically acquired as a result of domicile of father when a person born. And this is basically on the basis of the permanent home of father. So if a person is uh, UK domiciled and his permanent home is UK, so his children are automatically get the domicile of origin in UK. The second one is called the domicile of dependency. And this is uh, basically until the age of 16, when a person, when a child, when a person is domicile dependent on his father domicile. So, so until 16 years after domicile of origin, if father changed domicile, the minor children also change domicile means the children is on the domicile of his father at the time of origin as, as well as till the age of 16. Now the third category is domicile of choice. Now after uh, 16 years, from the age of uh, 16 years, he or she can change domicile to domicile of choice. But in that case, the existing domicile he or she has to sever all ties with the old country where is originally having a domicile and established residence in the new country on a permanent basis. Permanent basis is important if you want to change your domicile as per choice. And the fourth one is if a person is not domiciled by origin, not domiciled by dependency, not by choice, and he's not UK resident as well. So he or she might apply for long-term deemed domicile. And deemed, deemed domicile is based on two conditions. So with effect from 16th April 2017, there are two situations. There are only two situations in which are non-UK domicile can be deemed domicile, although it's not meeting the requirement of a, a UK domicile person, but it might be a deemed domicile for income tax purpose and simultaneously for the capital gain tax purpose. Now, what are these two situations? First one is long-term residence. So an individual, is deemed to be UK domiciled in a tax year if they have been UK resident for 15 of the last 20 tax years. So if an individual is having UK residency for the last 15 years out of 20 tax years, then he or she become the deemed domicile. Remember, long-term resident will not be deemed domiciled if they have not been UK resident in any tax year commencing after 5th April 2017. So it means in the tax year 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, the person must be a UK resident in order to get this long-term resident rule. So first we have to check the 15 years out of last 20 and then we have to check whether the resident status is active in 17, 18, 19, 18, 19 and 19, 20. The second condition is formerly domicile resident. An individual is deemed domicile in a particular tax year if he was born in UK and have their domicile of origin in UK and are UK resident in that tax year.
So if a person is uh, having a formal domicile status, that is domicile of origin, and in the current year where he's claiming a deemed domicile status, he's a UK resident as well, and he was born in UK, then he will be called a deemed domicile individual in that particular year.